told you tonight was important. I didn't expect to be in that meeting for so long. And that traffic was very bad. Right. Well, I ordered your usual. But if you're really that busy, then I guess we can just order it to go. Well, thank you, Penelope. I have a few minutes. You know, you could have at least called me to let me know you are going to be late. It'd be nice to know what you're thinking every once in a while. Or at least listen to me when I told you that something was going to happen. Alright, I am telling you, Penn. I thought it would be a quick meeting. I'm sorry. No. What's the news? Did you get that promotion? No. It's not about work. What's it about? Don't tell me we're pregnant. We're not no, pregnant. No, we're not. It's the opposite of that. No, it's not the opposite. That's not what I meant. I just meant that... Gavin, I've been seeing someone else. I don't think you've met him. He's from work. Wait, I just need some space. I just need some space. Same as last time and time before that. Look where it's got you. What do you want me to say to her? You know what to say to her. We put five years into this relationship. She made a vow. This isn't like her. We weren't like this. No, we didn't want to go and do, do that. Maybe this will wake you up, Gavin. Man up! Don't treat me like I'm some weak fool. I am fully awake. Let's show it. Gavin. Do you enjoy yourself? What kind of question is that? What I'm entitled to ask and assume the answer for since now I know my wife's been sleeping around in her free time. So how was it? You know, it was the best I've ever had. Mm -hmm. So glad to see you're being attentive enough to ask for the details. Mm -hmm. If this is what it took for you to ask me about my day, then maybe I should have done Don't it sooner. Don't you put this on me. It's your fault. We're in this. It's month. not my fault. How is you're it not your fault? You're the one who cheated. <laughs> you see how it feel? Just let it all out. <laughs> Sorry, I Lost my temper. That seems to be the case. I had this handled. Let's just spoil everything. Yes, you always seem to have the healthiest solution. Mm. Bad habits do die hard. But you're too old for this, Gavin. You have bigger things to worry about than a cheating wife. Break it off. Whatever she wants. Enough of this. Struggling marriages are... Well, they take too much time. It doesn't look good to have such a needy pet at home. She's not a pet. Here we go again. Sorry. Just focus. Gavin. You can have the apartment. It's too long of a commute from work anyway. That's what you're concerned about? Really? Let's just enjoy this meal, Penelope. I haven't eaten anything since noon. What else do you want from me? Obviously there's nothing left to say. There's nothing left to say regardless. Hi, sorry the food isn't right here. It's oh. on its way. Um, can I get oh, you some awesome. bread? 
Ja, oh, schön. Was? Gavin. You know, I really didn't know what to expect, but this honestly doesn't surprise me. I think I did it to get any kind of a reaction out of it. Penelope, sit down. Can we just... Just what, Gavin? Nothing? Nothing to say. Still? Or was it, can't we just be pleasant? You cut me off to tell me to sit down and be pleasant? Yeah. I don't want to end it like this. It ended a while before tonight, Gavin. And just like this. Penelope. Penelope, please. This is what it took for you to feel something? And even now, you can't say anything more. Don't put this on me. I made my mistakes. But let's make one thing very clear. No! <laughs> 